Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to be showing how to install a cold air intake on a 1999 Acura Integra GS. So the first thing we need to do is remove the old air filter and this is bolted down with three bolts. One located up here in the front, one on the right side here, and one in the back, back here. And these are all 10 millimeter bolts. After those three bolts are removed, you can lift the filter up and pull it off of the hose like so. Next we'll need to remove the remaining air hose. This requires detaching some wiring from it and then there's a single screw right here which is clamping it onto the throttle body. You also have one air hose so you'll need to disconnect that. And then you can pull it off. So once all the tubing is out, then we need to remove the resonator. So in order to do this, we're going to need to jack up the car and remove the front right tire. So this hole right here is actually where the air is initially pulled in. It goes down through the resonator and then up into the air filter box and then into the engine. Next, you're going to want to remove the fender liner so that you can get at the resonator. And there's just a bunch of clips, like this one seen here, and some screws holding that in. So after removing quite a few of those screws and clips, you can see the fender liner starting to come off. And there you can see the resonator box. So that's what we want to be removing. So now that the fender liner is removed, we can get at the resonator. The first thing we'll need to unbolt is this one here. And there's another 10 millimeter bolt below. So now we're trying to remove the resonator, which is this white piece below, uh, and this black piece right here, which connects up to the engine bay through here where it's pulling in air, is actually bolted on the other side. So you've got to reach your hand around, and it's kind of awkward, but there's a 10 millimeter bolt back here which you need to remove. You can then awkwardly take out this black piece. So in order to get the rest of the resonator out, you're going to have to remove some of the underliner. Uh, and so there's a couple bolts one there and one up here and I'm going to try removing just those two and see if I can just kind of bend it out. So after removing those two you can bend the fender down and pull out the resonator. Okay so now we can start working on installing the intake. First step will be to put some tubing over the throttle body. Then slide one worm clamp on to clamp it to the throttle body and another to clamp to the intake pipe. Now you can go ahead and tighten down the worm clamp that's on the throttle body side. Next we can start installing the intake tube. So the first thing we'll be doing is installing this rubber mount and that goes in right here and the intake tube is actually going to mount up to this. Then you can start positioning the intake tube. Now in my case I'm going to have to remove this strut bar so that I can get it in. Uh, though stock they won't have a strut bar in the way here. Once everything is fitted up you can install the mount. Our next step is to install the air filter so we can slide our worm clamp on there and then place the filter on and then slide the worm clamp over the filter. Now that the air filter is in you can replace the fender liner and the underbody liner. So the stock intake and all of its goodies comes in at 9.6 pounds with the cold air intake that I just installed coming in at 4 pounds. So 5.6 pounds taken out just with the swap alone. 
So now that everything's put back together, there's only a few steps remaining. We're going to want to reconnect the PCV hose. So we'll slide on the 3 8 ID rubber hose onto the PCV connecting to the engine. And then slide on worm clamp over that. And then connect up the other end, of course with another worm clamp on there, to the intake valve. So now there's one final worm clamp, which is the intake tubing connecting to the intake pipe. And everything is installed, so you can go ahead and start it up. Now I will of course include some testing in a future video, so stay tuned, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.